I can really you're an overthinker just, yeah yeah itne interviews dete ho aap kaun sa sawal hai jisse azadi chahiye koi nahi main un logon ko azad kar deti hu mere look pe pata chal jata hai ki ye jawab nahi milna inko my darshak know it's me so it's fine now it doesn't bother me that. anymore i love that of course your darshak know yeah okay um, and they write also sara ko copy kar rahe sara ko so now i actually find it amusing now i'm like acha theek hai main kar le the bus ride was great i had a great time i was with my father i was with karina i was with lolo i was with varun i was with my brother i was with khushi there was all, all of us it was a great time all my looks were so different yeah. i had such yeah. a good time yeah. got a lot of good compliments namaste main hu sara aur aap dekh rahe hain aur batao stuti ke sath hi guys main hu stuti aur ye hai meri prastuti baithi hu unke sath jo hai bahut pyari because this is sara in a sari oh, okay. <laughs> You're Hello. looking lovely. Thank you very much. Welcome to Or Batao. Hello, thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, uh, you know I think एक और बताओ के साथ आपका एक connection है from your first film to now. Also radio. I was so excited. This is a film that talks about the power of radio. Uh, you know, you're playing such a powerful character. How was it? It was very different. Hmm. I think that you know um, in today's time it's very difficult to imagine. a period where the idea of radio wasn't just something that we have seven yeah. options for in the car going from place a to place b the thought to go back and portray a story of a time where the thought was one minute we are a very strong nation hmm. but we don't have a ability to communicate so how do we ye sampark hum kaise kare kyunki sampark ka sadhan nahi hai aur us wajah se hum 1857 mein hamara revolt haar gaye to ab kya naya ho sakta hai so to put yourself in a position like that where radio is not just a magical device that allows you to listen from place a to place b information mm. about all over the world but it also actually helps communication and galvanize and bring together mm. something that was extremely important so i think more than just the magic of radio the novel magic of radio yeah. that was unimaginable at that time almost like even internet we can't even that we take for granted yeah. So I mean imagine there was a robot around us all the time like that's the level to what the radio is back then when i saw the trailer and honestly i was so happy to see you in it but i'm just trying to think ki as an actor ye ek aisa role hai itna powerful itna meaty that anybody would have you know wanted to play so when you were offered what were the things that were going on in your head how did you uh get it did you audition for it like what what all happened so actually uh karan sir came up to hmm. me and um he told me that he has this really good script and i should just listen to it and i listened to it and um my mom very seldom comes with me for narrations even though maybe she should because uh she has also come with me for the narration of kedarnath and in the climax of kedarnath's narration my mom and we both started crying mm. and in the climax of evatan's narration me and my mom both started crying and uh, it was not my first film mm. and uh, i have been working for a while now but to still be able to feel those innocent almost virginal nascent emotions there was no way i could have said anything but let's do this now hmm. and that's what happened hmm. so mom's your lucky charm in that way i mean in every way but uh, this this way i think most specifically but do you generally discuss a lot of your scripts with her yes yeah but i think that uh, something that she knows and feels and um re traits as an actor is that andar se awaaz aana bahut zaruri hai like she can tell hmm. me that oh i think you should do it but till i don't think that i have to do this hmm. it's not going to be and that calling came from within for this one listen uh, i want to share this with you and i think i'm saying it on behalf of everyone so uh, last few days we were all in jamnagar <laughs> We have only seen you guys on Instagram and going to the pre-wedding bash. Your looks, everything is being discussed, and people are saving those posts. They want to look like that. They want to be like that. How was it? Did you have fun? Tell I us about the bus. I had a blast. Tell I, us about the bus ride. The bus ride was great. I had a great time. I was with my father. I was with Karina. I was with Lolo. I was mm -hmm. with Varun. I was with my brother. I was with Kushi. There was all, all of us. It was a great time. 
had a blast on the bus but i really enjoyed my looks because i i feel like march is the month of multitude for me i have two films coming out mm. where i'm dressing very very differently i'm promoting very very differently yeah. i'm you know wearing like these hot jumpsuits and being all like murder murder and then suddenly i'm wearing sarees and i'm like you know bhartiya nari and i felt the same at the wedding yeah all my looks were so different yeah. i had such yeah. a good time yeah. got a lot of good compliments so uh, i'm enjoying it you know but what was fun was because generally you do not see your big stars do things that are very relatable but you've always maintained that like yeah. whether it's your goofy humor just talking about you know when something's too expensive or something like that so did you guys play antakshini in the bus that's also another question everybody wanted to know no no it was just a fun bus ride yeah <laughs> okay um you know sara with with the kind of films that you've done ek cheez to bahut clear hai that as an actor you want to push yourself you want for to sure. do different roles sometimes sometimes those choices have worked for you sometimes they haven't but when they have not you've always taken responsibility and you've been like i'm going to figure out have you know to, yeah. and and do things differently yeah. what do i do and you've been very honest yeah. about it um koi moment tha self doubt ka did you turn to anyone for some sort of guidance because there are times when one feels like i'm putting in so much why aren't things clicking the way i want them yeah i think all of 2020 was that for me mm -hmm. um uh there was a lot of self doubt but um you know there is a moment where you reflect mm -hmm. you learn you try to unlearn you analyze and i'm very good at all of this mm -hmm. and i've done it all brilliantly mm -hmm. but then there comes the second step which is you embrace yourself you accept you forgive and only then can you move on and i've just crossed that it took some time yeah, yeah. i think i understood what went wrong a long time ago but i fully forgave myself for it only now mm. and i think with the theatrical success of zara hatke zara bachke mm. and the extremely positive reaction of both my trailers mm. it's just a reiteration and a reemphasizing reminder to myself to live in this world of forgiveness mm. acceptance and celebration mm. so you know what like i think my new hashtag is evatan mubarak yeah. because really i feel that way i right love now. that yeah so you know a problem of plenty that one doesn't mind exactly. having exactly <laughs> truly i said um is is film mein aapka look i'm different ki agar baat kare bilkul alag to hai we haven't Fully. seen you uh like this but what else did you do because it's so different from the real sara i know as actors you guys have to play characters that are not like you uh, you know and that's what the whole deal is about but these are also different times a different kind of struggle you need a different kind of poignancy in your uh, performance what all went into that so i think that um, yes you're right you have to put yourself in a time that's very different hmm. the idea of brahmachari hmm the idea of mai brahmachari ki shapath leti hu hmm. is something that i can't imagine hmm. you know um it's a totally different time the idea of the death penalty if somebody catches me broadcasting this radio right now the stakes are just beyond imaginable hmm. so the only thing that one can really do is understand and recognize the fact that sacrifice bravery and what's the right word just do or die karo ya maro mm. that is not always necessarily a loud emotional mm. reaction mm. it can also be a soft simple but strong one mm. and i think that when you say that this is different from the real sara i don't know if that's true i don't know if that's true there is a very yeah. good chance that this could be the real sara yeah. a soft simple intelligent mm. girl mm. that knows what she deserves and needs to go out there and fight for it and maybe somewhere in the loud noise that the film business can create the real sara got lost because when i spoke to you in 2018 i spoke to you a lot like this yeah so maybe this is the real sara mm. how do we know mm. nicely put you've always been so articulate it is our industry mein reh ke ab you know so much goes into creating a persona right uh managing your social media how you're looking everything everywhere you guys get pabbed your looks are dissected uh do you think you've changed probably evolved is a better word are there you know have you it's kind been of... a full transition i got very lucky because i you know i i remember early on in my career only you know when contemporaries of mine would complain about trolling hmm. and i used to be like 
I don't get bothered. And yeah. then I realized after Love Ajkal that that's because I had never gotten it before that. Yeah. After Kedarnath and Simba, nobody was trolling me. They were like, a star is born. Mm. There was no trolling happening. Yeah. Then I for, for the first time went through it and I was like, oh my God, this is not really fun. And now I've come out of it. Mm. So it's been a full journey. It stopped bothering now. Now it doesn't? When not as much, not as much. I think you know in your heart. Hmm. When somebody trolls you for something that you know you deserve to be trolled for, you think they are right. But when you know you've done well and they're just like some jealous, potentially jobless people, then you don't feel bad. Okay, in this film, you have to be freedom struggle. So freedom, if you need everything now, from anything that bothers her, then what will happen? I don't want to worry about this thing. It's not I don't want to worry, but sometimes I wish I could get freedom from the constant overthinking that I can put myself through. Oh, don't we all? I can really. That. You're an overthinker? Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, usse bas. Kabi kabi. Acha, itte interviews de dao. Aap konsa sawal hai jisse azadi chahiye? Koi nahi, main unlogon ko azad kar deti hu. Mere look pe pata chal jata hai ki ye jawab nahi milna inko. कौन सी ऐसी इनसिक्योरिटी है दैट अब इतने साल इंडस्ट्री में रहने के बाद अपने ऊपर काम करने के बाद आपको आजादी चाहिए ऑनेस्टली फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग आई हैवेंट रियली बीन इनसिक्योर अबाउट टू मेनी थिंग्स इट यूज्ड टू बॉदर मी व्हेन आई यूज्ड टू थिंक आई एम बीइंग कॉपीड बिकॉज़ आई यूज्ड टू थिंक दिस होल नमस्ते लाइक इट्स नॉट लाइक अ एक्ट आई जेन्युइनली ग्रीट पीपल लाइक दैट एंड सडनली इट बिकेम लाइक अ टेम्पलेट दैट एवरी गर्ल वाज डूइंग एंड दिस वेयरिंग इंडियन क्लोथ्स एट द एयरपोर्ट गोइंग विद वेट हेयर एंड ऑल लाइक इट यूज्ड टू इरिटेट मी व्हेन अदर गर्ल्स यूज्ड टू डू इट But I realized that my darshaks know it's me, so it's fine. Now it I doesn't bother that. me anymore. I love that. Of course, your darshaks know. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they write also. Sara ko copy kare, Sara ko. So now I actually find it amusing. Now I'm like, acha, okay, ban kare. Like I said, problem of plenty. We're seeing you in two completely different roles, different projects, which is great. Um, but have you kind of made your peace with your place in the industry? Because there's so many young talent out there. Uh, you all want to kind of do the best roles, do the best that you can. How do you uh, treat that? Because you're also friends with a lot of your contemporaries. I think sabki kismat hoti hai, and there's enough place for everybody, and everybody will go where they are meant to go. You know, um, I don't think you can take away what's meant for somebody else, and I don't think somebody can take away what's meant for you. Hmm. That could be a boy, that could be a cup of coffee, that could be an order of food, or that could be a movie. Hmm. If it's in your kismat, it'll come to you. Hmm. And I've been taught this yesterday by my manager. Because I felt very bad that we I ordered prawns and he didn't get to eat any, and he told me it wasn't in my kismat today. And it's something so silly. It sounds like I'm making fun. Dhani dhani pili. But it's actually true. Yeah. So what, the prawns that are meant for me, I'll get. <laughs> Till then, I'll be vegetarian. It's not a problem. Yeah. I like that also. Lovely. So when you guys chill, like with you and Janvi or Ananya, you guys really don't talk about work. It's what a, are the common amount, grounds? A little amount. We talk about work. Hmm. Uh, we we talk about bole chudiya uh, because then we have to perform it together. Uh, so yeah, we talk. We talk about different things. Super. Uh, so I have lots of expectations from this film and for all your darshaks and all darshaks of or without. Tell us the one thing that you're very proud of that you've done in this in this film. You know, this is a genuine thing. I just feel that all my poems, all my shayari, all my jokes, they really come from the heart. my trekking videos they come from the heart but i really hope that i can request my darshaks to see me like they did in 2018 just wo hasi mazak chalta rahega i promise aur main wo hu to hoti rahungi lekin bas thoda thehrav thodi gambhirta bhi apna lo kyunki wo bhi main hi hu wo nakli nahi hai wo shayad zyada asli hai to usko bhi pyar de do That was a heartfelt appeal. Thank you so much Thank as you. usual. Always so fun to speak to you. Thank you.